Hi, I'm Jane, an Alto pharmacist specializing in fertility. I'm here to walk through injecting your fertility medications. We'll go through several steps together, so stay tuned. Always make sure your hands are washed and you're working on a clean, flat surface. Let's begin. For this injection, you will need one vial of diluent and at least one vial of 75 IU Menopure powder, depending on your dose. For example, if your dose is 75 IU, you will need one vial of powder. If your dose is 150 IU, you will need two vials of the powder. If your dose is 225 IU, you will need three vials of the powder and so forth. You will also need a three milliliter syringe, a Q-cap for mixing, an injection needle, a few alcohol swabs, a sharps container, and sterile gauze or tissue is optional. Before we get started, there are a couple of things I wanted to review with you. Examine your medication. Make sure the medication is not expired. Check to ensure there are no cracks on the vials and there's powder or a pellet in your powdered vial. Sometimes the menopure powder can adhere to the side of the vial. If that happens, gently tap the vial on a hard surface so the powder falls to the bottom of the vial. Also, make sure the diluent is clear and does not contain any floating particles. If you see anything, call your provider or an Alta pharmacist for next steps. To begin, flip off the plastic caps on the Menopure powdered vial and vial of diluent and wipe the tops with an alcohol pad. Peel off the seal on the Q-cap blister pack, but do not take the Q-cap out of the blister pack yet. Leaving the Q-cap in the blister pack prevents contamination. Next, place the vial of diluent on a flat surface and hold the sides of the Q-cap blister pack and push the spiked end of the Q-cap into the rubber stopper of the vial until it stops and snaps into place. Remove the blister pack, but do not touch the connector end of the Q-cap. Unwrap the syringe and pull back the plunger to draw air into the syringe. Fill the syringe with roughly the same amount of air as the amount of diluent you were instructed to mix with. Place the tip of the syringe into the connector end of the Q-cap and twist the syringe into place. The syringe is now connected to the Q-cap, which is connected to the vial. Press on the plunger to push the air in the syringe into the vial of diluent. Pushing the air into the vial makes it easier to withdraw the medication because the vials are pressurized. Without removing the Q-cap, invert the vial and pull back the plunger to withdraw the amount of diluent you were prescribed. For Menopure, this is typically one milliliter or one cc. Flip the vial back and remove the Q-cap and syringe from the vial as a single unit. You can discard the used vial of diluent into the Sharps container. Place the Menopure powder on a flat surface and push the spiked end of the Q-cap into the rubber stopper of the vial until it stops and snaps into place. Slowly inject the diluent into the powder. Menopure powder usually dissolves instantaneously but you can still swirl the vial to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Do not shake the vial. Without removing the Q-cap, invert the vial and pull back the plunger to withdraw the entire content of the vial into the syringe. Do not worry if you're not able to withdraw every last drop in the vial. If you're injecting more than 75 IU of Metapure, Repeat this process using the mixture in the syringe to mix your subsequent vials of Menopure powder. For example, if your dose is 150 IU, you will use the mixture in the syringe to mix another vial of Menopure powder. If your dose is 225 IU, you will use the mixture in the syringe to mix two additional vials of Menopure powder and so forth. Detach the syringe from the Q-cap by twisting the syringe counterclockwise. Discard the Q-cap with the attached vial into the Sharps container. Now, attach the injection needle to the syringe and pull off the cap.
To remove any air bubbles, tap on the side of the syringe so the bubbles move to the top. Gently push on a plunger until you see a tiny droplet come out of the tip of the needle. Once you see the droplet, you are ready for your intramuscular injection. Today, I'll show you how to inject into the upper outer quadrant of the buttocks muscle since it's the most common location for an intramuscular injection. But always check with your provider or nurse before injecting to ensure you're injecting at the prescribed location. Because an intramuscular injection can be uncomfortable, you can ice the area for a few minutes with an ice pack prior to injection to numb the area. You should also alternate your injection sites to decrease discomfort. To prepare for your injection, clean the injection site with an alcohol pad and allow the area to air dry. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand with your thumb and fingers like you would hold a dart. Firmly stretch the skin at your injection site with your thumb and index finger on your non-dominant hand. Insert the entire length of the needle into the stretched skin at a 90 degree angle with one swift motion. Stabilize the syringe with your free hand and pull back slightly on the plunger. If you see blood return, do not inject the medication and withdraw the needle. Repeat your medication preparation process and inject at an alternate site. If there's no blood, the needle is inserted properly and you can inject the medication slowly. Push on the plunger in a slow and steady motion until all of the medication is injected. Quickly withdraw the needle when you are done. Lastly, apply pressure to the injection site with a gauze or tissue. Discard the used needle and syringe in the sharps container. Gently massaging the injection site afterwards can help to reduce discomfort and spread the medication. You can also apply a bandage if needed. There may be minor bleeding, bruising, and redness around the injection site. All of this is common and should not be of any concern. Let's talk about storage. Menopure is a medication that can be stored at room temperature or in the refrigerator until the expiration date. Once it has been mixed, it must be used immediately and any unused portion of the medication should be discarded. Menopure should also be protected from light, so store it either in the original packaging or the amber prescription vials it came in until you're ready to prepare for administration. You're done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, visit Alta.com to get in touch with an Alta pharmacist.